So there's different types of greetings. In all my videos, I always say, Good morning, me again, welcome back. While someone with blue eyes would probably say, I like your outfit. Oh, thank you. Is there anything else that you might like? You guys have heard of eyeballs, right? They come in many shapes and sizes. And most important of all, colors. With the invention of colored contacts, you can cosplay any character from a show or video game and even pretend you're a regular person with light colored eyes that never blinks or breaks eye contact when they talk to people. And once you're done with your temporary eyeballs, all you gotta do is pop them out before bed and give them a quick rinse. I am not an optometrist, don't listen to that. And to those asking, why do people do this? The best type of beauty is being yourself. Love your natural eye color and embrace the traits you were born with. If you think I'm spending the next 50 years with the same colored eye, I don't know man. To me that's like keeping the same clothes you start out with in a video game. We're not poor anymore, we can afford some nice things now. And there's nothing wrong with changing the way you look. You can still like yourself, it's just that sometimes people want to look like that picture of Miley Cyrus that stares right into your soul and into your bank account. Changing your eye color is the same as dyeing your hair. It's all for fun and scratches that itch in our brain to look good and be vain. There's no deeper meaning other than that. Or is there? As of now, there's no way to permanently change your eye color forever, is what I thought until a few days ago. There's a whole group of people that are doing the most interesting things to change their eye color other than using contacts. Eye color is one of those instances where it can seem like a cult, like a more intense version of zodiac signs, because you can actually see it without asking. People will even base their whole personality around the color of their eyes, based on random articles from the internet. As quoted by Shakespeare, or someone, Eyes are the window to the brain. Where you can already tell what someone will be like just by making eye contact with them. Women with light colored eyes tolerate pain better than women with dark eyes. One study showed women with green or blue eyes can handle pain and stress better. During pregnancy and labor, the first group with light colored eyes seem to have less pain. I'm just imagining them going to the hospital where people are actively giving birth and asking, all right, no need to panic everyone. Anyone here have striking blue eyes? Maybe something turquoise or similar to the sky? Yes, me. I'm often told my eyes are pearls plucked from the ocean. I'm giving birth and I feel nothing. People with brown eyes are considered trustworthy. Researchers found that people with brown eyes were considered as intelligent and kind. Moreover, people tend to trust them more. All right, but who took the suspicious looking survey? This statement sounds like something smart people with brown eyes would try and get you to believe, that's for sure. People with green eyes are the most passionate in relationships. They are trustworthy and love to make people laugh. They love adventure and nature. They get jealous occasionally, and this is the best part. Saying something mean about them to their face will usually end up with it coming back to you in some sort of smart comeback. Who wrote this? Really? Okay. Hey, green-eyed people, the Hulk called. He wants his two balls back. I'm not gonna finish that sentence because I don't want to get demonetized. But for the people with the Hulk's green balls as your eyes, I'll be waiting for your comeback in the comments. Blue-eyed people may enjoy trying new things more. People with hazel eyes perform well under pressure. Well, that's obvious. They always try and convince everyone that their eyes are 20 different colors in the span of one conversation. People with brown eyes prefer to live life to the fullest. Speak for yourself, I'm tired. At this point, are they just making this stuff up? There was even a moment in time when Tumblr catfished an entire generation with a fake eye disease called Alexandria's Genesis. Hey, isn't this a verse from that book? Who's Alexandria? What's her genesis? When someone is born with Alexandria's genesis, their eyes are blue or gray at birth. After six months, the eyes begin to change from their original color to purple, and this process lasts six months. During puberty, the color deepens to a dark purple, a deep purple, a royal purple, or a violet blue color, and remains that way. It does not affect the person's eyesight. Those who have this mutation will never grow any facial hair. Other than the hair on their heads, women also do not have cycles, but are fertile. No shaving, no periods, and I get purple eyes? Why the f*** wasn't I born with this? That was actually a comment that someone left. 
I don't blame them though. We've all had that phase when we were young and our brains still unripe where you want to be quirky and unique to stand out. But what happens when you get older and don't grow out of that phase? This is Sarah McDaniel, who is well known for her condition, heterochromia iridum, which causes someone to have two different colored eyes. She's got one blue eye and one brown eye, which I gotta say, looks pretty cool. I even wore my contacts like this today. I can see the world in 3D now. Sarah built her entire career around her different eye colors by getting modeling gigs and being featured on the cover of Playboy. She sort of became a spokesperson for people with this eye condition. You have something called heterochromia iridum, is yeah. that what it is? Yes. And if we can get a close up the young lady's eyes right here, Jim, take a look at her eyes. She mostly talks about her own experiences in one of the most awkward interviews I've ever seen. I have a feeling that dress might be the start of her villain origin story. But she's more than just her eye color, according to her and how she used to get made fun of back in the day. It's very annoying because I get asked a lot, like, is it fake? And everyone else, everyone's always like, that's the only thing everyone knows. That's what I just asked you. It. I just asked you. Yeah. It's fake. <laughs> that's the only thing everyone notice, everyone notices. I wish they would pay attention to other things about me rather than just that one. She's multifaceted. She's into things like witchcraft and hanging out with Spencer Pratt? Well, that's a random combination of things. We're gonna pay a visit to a witch, a real life witch with spells and potions. I think everyone has a little bit of witch in them. I am very confident that this witch is exactly what you needed to heal your anxiety and your back pains. I'm a little nervous. I'm just never sat down with, may I say, witch? Is that politically correct or spiritually correct? It's all of those things. If you guys could spare a second, can we all like, pray or something, or if anyone knows any protection spells, uh, please cast them now. I'm just a little bit nervous for us. We're gonna have a potion. You guys ready for some potion? It works best if you have hot water, or you can even use alcohol. Mmm, <laughs> tastes very earthy, mm -hmm. like I'm drinking out of a, like a pond. You know what? Never mind. Send your thoughts and prayers to them instead. I saw the way he looked into the camera after drinking that? I feel like a witch. I feel like a dang witch. I deal a lot with anxiety. and my lower back on my right side, I have a kind of a sharp pain from lifting weights. I'm feeling this witch's energy. Got a good vibe. I'm liking it. Feels like there's an electric bolt just going down my entire body. It's crazy. I know they're supposed to close their eyes, but how do they know she's not just straight up tasing them? That is one way to wake someone up. I can definitely feel the electromagnetic electric. energy from your fingers. If I do it for like five hours, I can literally set off car alarms. Hey, if this spell works for you, then great. I'm glad she's getting help for her anxiety. I'd be anxious too if I had to keep a secret that I built my entire career around. Oh yeah, turns out she might have allegedly made the whole thing up just by wearing contact lenses. Here's a good one that clearly shows a blue contact when Sarah is looking up to the left. You can clearly see paint marks on that colored lens, and you can also see her real brown iris underneath. And another one that clearly shows a contact lens. It's even a different color, a deeper shade of blue. And as you can see, the brown iris is visible underneath. Her dad and sister even posted pictures of her back in the day with two eyes that look very brown. I can't take out my contacts in the middle of a video. There's a lot of questions we can ask her, like why, where, when, and why. But most importantly, I need to know how her contacts stayed in place the whole time. You might be able to relate, but when I wear contacts, sometimes they do this thing where it'll try to jump out of my eye like a fish, and I end up looking like those K-pop idols, somehow looking three different directions at once. This isn't the worst thing you can do. People will do anything for clout. It's just strange how she pretended she had a genetic condition that she was supposedly bullied for when this is a trait that people are jealous of and would love to have. If that was me, I would just tell people it's a contact and be done with it. Then you won't have to cast spells on your back because of stress. Since we're on the topic of speaking things into existence, people on TikTok are trying to manifest different eye colors. Can you manifest a different eye color? There is no limit to what you can manifest other than what you do not believe to be possible. Many people claim success by listening to subliminal audios. I'm not that knowledgeable about manifestation, but I thought I'd look into it and see if it's something that I could do. I want to manifest myself some new things like groceries, clothes, maybe a new spine because my back hurts too. Oh my god, 
I just realized I'm doing a Sarah McDaniel cosplay today. How I changed my eye color with the law of attraction. Now, my eyes have always been blue, but over the past year of going on the spiritual awakening journey, my eyes have gotten more and more like crystal blue. And wait a second, we don't want that. I want something crazy, like from blue eyes to brown eyes. People's eye color can change just by sitting in the sun all day without sunglasses. Or maybe it's the cataracts. Okay, so if you believe in manifestation or anything like that, this video is for you. So I have blue eyes and I've never really liked my eyes just because they're not like a special blue, they're just kind of random. I'll have you know, that's my favorite shade of blue next to an original blue and ethernet cable blue. I've always had a thing for brown eyes, so I started manifesting brown eyes a few months ago. Nothing was really working and I was starting to get discouraged, so I was thinking, okay, maybe brown's just not realistic. But I actually did start to notice my eyes getting brown in them. I do have receipts that I'll put at the end of the video of my eyes before um, with different kinds of lighting and my eyes now. I will add better clips, but just to show you the brown. The reason it's only a little bit of brown is because this does take time and for you to believe. Is it manifestation or is it just a better camera lens? I'm not really convinced yet. Let's try someone that manifested green eyes. Oh, th that's it? Ma'am, are you gonna tell us or just keep lip syncing? I need to learn how to manifest better posture. I also want to know, are the people commenting on these TikToks okay? I want brown eyes. I'm gonna try this. Girl, mine are too blue. I look like an alien. I need them gone. Yeah, I'm gonna need to see some ID. You might be too young for the internet. So a little over a month ago, I was talking to my friend and I was telling her, I'm gonna manifest some green eyes. She's like, ha ha, yeah, mm -hmm. I hate you. Pretty much doubting me. 48 hours after this, this company reached out and said they wanted to send me some colored contact. Stop, wait. You're telling me this was sponsored and not a way to speak something into existence? Aw, I'm kind of disappointed. I was excited to manifest a new code. But now I'm scared the universe is gonna send me one from the Balenciaga fashion show. When am I gonna wear this? Okay, this is probably not for me. You do you though, and I'll stay here with my fake eyeballs. Yeah, sometimes contacts are annoying, like when they pop out of your eye and land on the person you're talking to. But I'm glad that people aren't risking their health by putting random chemicals in their eyes. We have our eyes on some hot trends for your peepers called color changing eye drops. Color changing eye drops. Well, that was a genuine reaction from the audience. I can feel the fear and their collective gasp. There have been no safety studies about these drops, and they use the same ingredient that's used for lightening the skin. Apparently, this substance that's the same in the skin products is called N acetyl glucosamine, which reduces the melanin in the skin. I just made a whole video about skin bleaching, where they found crazy amounts of mercury in skin whitening products. I hope shooting lasers out of your eyes is a side effect people are okay with. This has never been studied before. These are actually readily available over the counter and we were able to get it in two days. People really be selling anything these days? Is it that easy? Just find yourself a graphic designer, someone to build you a website, and you're a random lady selling pink sauce over the internet for 20 bucks a bottle. And there was no safety warnings, and I'll tell you something else, we actually contacted the company, and the email we got back was, you know, we've actually been looking for an ophthalmologist to endorse our product, so if Dr. Brian would be interested, we could possibly pay him or give him a stake in the company. Wow, that is bold of them. Is this them being brave? or kind of dumb. Why would you admit that to a doctor that appears on TV shows broadcasted to millions of people? It's kind of like saying, well, we've never actually tried to do a brain transplant, but if you want to be the first test subject, we'll give you like 99% of the company if you survive. I mean, if all goes well. And these eye drops aren't cheap either. Oh wait, are they on sale? No, don't even think about it. Wonky contacts are good enough for me. Well, that is a pretty good deal though. Sorry, it's my Asian side, always buying things on sale that I don't even need. At least we get a gold mine of funny comments. I use eye whitening drops. They are actually amazing. They suit the eyes and actually whiten them color blue. Wow, so is it safe to use? Uh, this person can't even see their typos. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hmm, <laughs> that was too good. 
Oh my god guys, it worked! I wanted black eyes and now all I can see is black. It changes your eye color to blind. Why are the funniest people random strangers in comment sections? What's not funny though is this infamous surgery where you can actually put a colored lens in your eye so you can have blue eyes forever. Forever as in until they make you go blind. They go into the, the eye, they make a little slit. They take this implant and just fold it up. They open it and they spread it over your eye. A lot of people are flying overseas to get this done. I'm sure there's a reasonable explanation why. With the operation illegal here in the States, she went to Africa to have it done. Oh, it's illegal? Perfect. I will see myself out. We are done here. Uh, can someone get me my bag? Is what I think most rational people would say, but nope. Let's book a flight to the other side of the world and get sketchy plastic surgery on our eyes. Top 3 signs why you shouldn't fly to another country to change your eye color. Number 1. It's illegal. Number 2. There are more risks than benefits. Number 3. It takes a worryingly short amount of time to do. The procedure was, um, it would be quick. It's um, like 5 to 10 minutes an eye. They woke me up and it's very blurry, then it just kind of fades in. 10 minutes? That's it? There is no way that procedure is being done safely. Even LASIK, where they zap your eyeballs with laser beams until they're nice and crispy, takes longer than that. This video is from 7 years ago, and this is a recent update from a year ago. Nice to see that she still has her vision and her eyes. They are still blue, so those permanent contacts are holding up. However, there are no long-term studies on this being done. Hopefully in the next 10 years, her eyes are still okay. But not everyone is this lucky. I've always worn color contacts and I just always hated having brown eyes. Every time I looked at myself in the mirror, I just didn't like it. I wouldn't even check the mail, take out the trash without wearing color contacts. I don't know this person's life story, so I don't want to speculate, but damn. What did brown eyes do to you? Steal your life savings and push you off a cliff? What happened? My best friend, she did the surgery and she had no problems. And when I saw her eyes, I was like, I need to get that done. Loss of their cornea, inflammation inside the eye, and a severe form of glaucoma that a 50% chance of eventually going blind is simply not worth it. So basically, you're just tossing a coin and seeing if you go blind. Actually, those are pretty good odds compared to gotcha games and winning the lottery. But you are gambling with your vision. Those are some pretty high stakes. Even if there was a 5% chance of going blind, I would still ask, is there a way to make it negative 5%? I will pay extra. I'm also enjoying the fact that the doctor is talking to him like a child. The lens is the same lens used in cataract surgeries for the past 20 years. It's just a colored version of it. No, that's simply not true, young man. In 2012, the right eye would turn bloody red, and I just ignored the symptoms. I should have seen a doctor, and I didn't. And I thought the vision would come back, and I am now blind in the right eye. I feel bad for him. You know how much it would suck losing your vision forever? Thank god he still has one eye left. But the fact that there was a 50% chance of going blind, and you ignored the symptoms and went to bed, if my eyes felt the slightest instance of blurriness, I would be in an Uber headed straight for the ER. Well, that was another fascinating topic I stumbled upon. After making this video, I've come to the conclusion that behind some people's eyes, there might be nothing at all. I know that the YouTube algorithm is sick of its body hair though, and you can help give it some purple eyes by leaving a like and a comment for engagement, because that helps me pop up and you're recommended. Let me know what eye color you have or something, and who knows, maybe you'll wake up with Alexander's Giselle, or whatever it's called. Have a good day, try not to be dumb and fake your eye color, and I'll see you in the next one.